Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Parita Kent is one of my favourite people. She was an educator, Catholic nun and artist who worked through the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s, primarily in screen printing, and the driving force of her work was social activism. When I was deciding on a charity to promote as part of this year's Project for Awesome, I thought about what Corita would be fighting for today if she was alive, and the answer was easy. She would be doing absolutely everything she could to help with the international refugee crisis. So today, while we're screen printing, we're going to learn a little bit about the UNHCR, which is the United Nations Refugee Agency. About halfway through 2017, my husband and I moved from Australia to Ireland. We're lucky enough that we've been able to do this with everything on our side, both mentally and physically, and still, it hasn't been easy. I can't even begin to imagine what the process of moving internationally is like in a war zone when you've been forced to flee for your life with only what you can physically carry. To be honest, having spent most of my life in Australia, I can't even imagine what it's like to go through war at all. And that lifelong safety has to be part of the reason that the Australian treatment of refugees has reached the point it's at today. With a horrifying humanitarian crisis unfolding on Manus Island and our democratically elected government doing their very best to make it worse. Anyway, before I left Australia, I worked in a printmaking supply shop and we'd get a lot of new printmakers in who wanted to learn how to screen print. I'd always try to talk them down from their difficult and expensive photo emulsion dreams to the humble, more creative paper cut stencil method. And I'd usually fail, but maybe a video was a better way to prove how awesome it is. Corita Kent printed a lot from paper cut stencils using advertising and packaging in her imagery. So in this video, I've made stencils from the text on our moving boxes, ads for international holidays, cutouts of swans in flight, and because it felt right, a still from Paul Kelly's From St Kilda to King's Cross video clip. I mixed my own ink using print paste medium and acrylic paint. The medium stops the paint drying in your screen. I taped squares of cardboard to the corners of my screen to give it a bit of bounce, allowing me to easily flood the screen with ink before applying more pressure on the squeegee's second pass. The move left me with a couple of tears in the screen, which I patched with some tape, and I'm printing today on a bunch of Hanamil postcard blanks that I've had for a while. And that is literally all there is to screen printing with paper stencils, leaving me plenty of time to talk about the UNHCR and why the work they do is so important. Twenty-eight thousand three hundred people are forced to flee their homes every single day due to crisis situations. This is the highest level of human displacement on record. There are 65.6 .6 million forcibly displaced people worldwide. 22.5 million of those people are refugees, and over half those are children under 18 years old. Only 189,300 refugees were resettled in 2016, and all of us living in safe parts of the world can do more to improve that number. Put it simply, the UNHCR are working to create a safer, more stable worldwide community for everyone, helping those forced to flee to rebuild their lives, and helping the communities those refugees settle in to flourish socially and economically. The UNHCR provide cultural orientation, language and vocational training as part of the resettlement process and they work tirelessly to provide innovative solutions to improve communication and living arrangements for those people who need to rebuild their lives. The Project for Awesome happens once a year to raise money and awareness for a huge variety of charities worldwide. If you donate to the Project for Awesome or directly to the UNHCR, email me proof of your contribution and postal address, and I'll send you one of these hand-printed postcards anywhere in the world. Links are in the doobly-doo. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share and comment if you like this video and stay tuned to Spines and Splines for more creative projects and simple exercises you can do in your studio or workspace. And most importantly, be excellent to each other. Cheers.